Hi guys, uh, today's video is about um, newer cars, the way they're being built and how the newer cars are going to be built going forward. Apparently uh, the newer cars are not going to have dipsticks uh, to check your engine oil and transmission. Uh, that's not a good thing. Um, my mechanic already has encountered uh, an issue with an Audi where a client or customer was putting in oil because the dash said it was short on oil. So the guy kept putting in oil. So when he went to the mechanic shop to get the car checked, the indicator light on the dash was malfunctioning. Okay. When he took out the engine oil out of the guy's engine, there must have been about 20 liters of oil that came out of the Audi. Okay. Just so you guys know, a lot of the newer cars now are going to start coming out with no dipsticks. That includes Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Ford, Cadillac, Lincoln, Chevy, Chrysler, and Mazda models already have it with no dipstick. And uh, other manufacturers may follow. Uh, this is unfortunate. Uh, I will refuse to buy a car that has no dipstick. I would look for an older car no matter what, even if I had to get it shipped over uh, overseas from another country to avoid this. This is absolutely a garbage system. You can't even check to find out if there's any problems with someone's engine. For example, head gasket, usually you could check by the color of the oil. If it's changing, you could see if a car has a head gasket issue. But with this system here, you're not going to have the ability to even check that. Okay. So this new system that is happening with cars between key fobs, okay, that they eliminated the old style key with no computer, between key fobs, between no dipsticks, all these new cars are garbage, okay? So I will stick to an older car, and even the way the cars are made, they're not the same as what they used to look like. Like, I'll show you pictures of the new Civic, okay, 2023, okay, look how ugly that car looks. If you tell me this looks nice, then something is wrong, something seriously wrong with the person. If they think this is a nice Honda, it's not, okay? If you look at the old ones, look at that, much nicer. Even this one here, uh, 92 to 95, look at that model, way nicer. I'm sure they put a lot more effort into building these two cars versus this piece of crap right here, okay? When these were new, these were like 14, 15 grand. Okay, 15 grand plus tax out the door. Even an SI model, 18 grand out the door. Now you're spending 40 grand for this garbage. Does that make sense? And it's not the same quality, guys. Trust me, it's not the same. These older ones handle a lot better in turn in terms of uh, suspension, handling, uh, reliability. The engines are bulletproof on these two Hondas versus what they're building now, okay? So now, the fact that they're coming up with no dipstick is not a good situation for a lot of people. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be designed so you can keep buying cars. So eventually you're gonna ruin your car. The computer's gonna tell you, add oil. You may not need oil, you may not need oil. You keep adding it, and eventually you're gonna mess up your engine. Because over adding oil into an engine is not good either, guys. Let's face it. So just letting you guys know uh, this is what's happening and if you guys think this is good well <laughs> I don't think it is but anyways guys uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video before you buy a car look into it and um, look at your options but I'm telling you right now that this is what's happening and um, not a good idea okay anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoy the video and have a good day